show you how to use my latest plugin mastermind rss feed post generator multi-site post generator plugin for wordpress this plugin will uh, grab posts from rss feeds and will generate posts uh, to an unlimited number of blogs you connect the plugin with so you install the plugin on one blog and you can post with it on an unlimited WordPress blogs you connect with it. The target WordPress blogs must have the REST API enabled. This is the only requirement for them. So let's begin demonstrating this. Click plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, navigate to the zip file you download it, click install now. After the quick installation, activate the plugin and go to plugin settings. Here you will see <coughs> the full plugin settings. If you want to start creating rules, we must go to RRS to multi site sub page. Here we see this page. Here we can create rules which will generate posts for other blogs for us. RRS feed URL. Here you must define the URL of the RS feed from where you want to import posts. Let's say I want to get from TechCrunch. The URL of the target blog. Right now I am my I am on my uh, blog uh, main blog page on CodeRevolution.ro. Here I have posts about my plugins. Let's say I want to post here. This is a sub blog of code revolution.ro slash testing this is also another wordpress install let's say i want to post here so i copy this address and insert it here the user is admin and i need an uh, application password here i must uh, install this free plugin on the target blog application passwords and also it is bundled in the plugin so I go to my testing blog go to plugins add new upload plugin navigate to the uh, mastermind uh, where I put it this is it application password so this is the zip install the zip activate the plugin right now we must go to users the select the user for which we want to post scroll down and create a new application password give it a name and click add new you will be prompted with this copy it and paste it right here so the text that you received from here after creating a new application password should be pasted here schedule this rule will run every 24 hours so every 24 hours this blog will get new posts maximum 10 posts at a time will be inserted and here are some advanced settings for the rule you can customize the post title of the generated post title here you can use short codes use these short codes to change the title and also post content you can use also some more short codes and post excerpt. You can disable excerpt generation by leaving this field blank. Post author the author ID on the target WordPress blog. Item type post or page. You can add here more uh, post types. Uh, I'll show you in a minute how. Okay post status should be published also you can 
pend, you, you can make it pending, draft, private or trash. Post format, if your blog supports post formats, you can add additional categories manually. You can remove categories from the uh, automatic categories. If you check this, automatic categories will be posted. And if you insert here categories, these will be removed from the automatic categories. You can, as I said before, you can automatically generate categories for the post. You can remove default category from post, the WordPress default category. You can automatically post tags, additional post tags. You can set a post password. You can get the publish date from the feed, enable comments, ping back trackback, sticky post. You can get featured image from the source feed. Skip checking feed image, OG. These are advanced settings. You can strip images from content. You can set a default featured image you can set band word list required word list which strip html elements by class or id you can limit title word count you can automatically translate content to any language using google translate you can high google translate pop-up you can change the read more button text that the shortcode generates try to get full article content if you check this you can get full article content from the feed articles that are uh, the articles to which are pointing the feed links you can search by html div id uh, class regex or xpath and many other advanced options are here check the documentation for more and you can define a pause in milliseconds between each request to the target site if you have a rate limiter now let's save this and finally we get to demonstrate our uh, feature let's go to our blog, uh, blog it's empty now and let's run this rule now okay now the rule is running and if we configured everything correctly post will start appearing on our target blog soon okay the first blog uh, post already appeared and they are getting generated already the rule is running <coughs> note that I can also configure this to post on the blog where uh, the plugin is installed. So I install it on my blog and I also can post post to the same blog where I install it. To do this I have to copy the link of my uh, blog of my WordPress install and paste it here. Insert an admin user install the plugin uh, of application password plugin also on this create a password paste the password here insert the field url configure the plugin and run the rule and it will generate post also here okay now let's go back to main settings i'll talk a bit about these settings because these are also useful use custom simple pie instead of built-in one uh, you can use the bundled simple pie that is the latest version of the simple pie library if you uncheck this you will use the built-in simple pie that is older built-in in wordpress these are advanced settings you can change them if you want additional post custom post type this is interesting oh sorry for this okay this is interesting you can enter here what you want let's say i want car and uh, job these are my custom post types on my blog let's save settings go back order a rule already finished running and the posts are generated notice also then you can 
uh, uh, of the generated post so you can delete all posts generated by the plugin so now if I refresh my target blog the posts are gone also I could have moved them to trash and also I can run this rule again the rule will run in this time okay uh, okay now let's move on let's go to main settings so I uh, uh, I talked about the custom post types the custom post types appear here so you enter here car and job save settings and go to rule settings and they will appear here besides post and page if you want to generate custom post types you can enter here notice that custom post types must, ha must have enabled the API functionality you can read more here about this okay post status it will be published generated post format additional post categories adi categories to remove yeah I was over this once again do not check for duplicates if you check this post will be inserted without checking for duplicates so duplicate post will be inserted if you check this try to get featured image from content I if you want to check the post content for featured image check this copy images locally the images will be copied on the lock on the source blog on this blog and the target blogs will use images from this blog so uh, they won't be copied on each rather than on this do not copy featured image locally uh, verify, verify featured image if not corrupt strip links from generated post content replace all URLs with this URL from the content enable logging for rules detail logging automatically clear logs timeout for running a delay between rule running this is the same as the feature from before send a rule running summary send each post in email you can send each post to email or send a summary read more button text minimum title work on maximum title work on minimum content work on maximum content work on skip posts that do not have images skip posts that are older than this date spin text using any of the selected methods and do not spin title also we have a random sentence generator you can use it with this short code you can define here sentences with variables you can define the variables here the values for variables and also we are here we have here a custom HTML and custom HTML2 short code you can define here your custom HTML that will be replaced that will replace these shortcodes and also affiliate keyword replacer define here a keyword <coughs> replace it with another one and add a link to it also you can select where you want to apply this feature okay also we have an activity and logging section here uh, you can view uh, plugin you can back up rules you can uh, view the rules currently running load rules from file restore plug plugin default settings and view activity log okay so this is all I hope you will enjoy it here you can define as many uh, target URLs you wish so the plugin will post to unlimited number of blogs at once this is the best part of it you install it on one blog and it posts to any number of blogs you want so you have to configure it only in one okay i hope you will enjoy this plugin until next time bye bye